A lot of people don't know it, but I learned from the guys that beat me. You know, I, I applied the same knowledge that when I was in college, you know. If I'm not the smartest, uh, go talk to the guy that are the smartest. When I got to bodybuilding, I wasn't the best, so I went and talked to the guys that were, who, who were the best, like Flex and Kevin and all those guys, and they, they gave me the knowledge that took me to the, to the next level. We were in Russia one time, and he came to me, and I had won everything, you know, six straight shows. Well, I was placing like fourth and fifth, you know, in every show because I was I was kind of like burnt out for the most part, you know, from doing all those shows anyway. I did the Olympia, I did the show before the Olympia, so I'm I'm kind of like burnt out. But I remember Kevin is winning every show, and I'm like, what the hell is he doing to win all these shows? So I went to Kevin's room. I like Kevin. I was in there eating pizza and stuff, you know, just chilling. I had just one show. Heard a knock on the door. Look, look, open the door. It's Ronnie. Hey, man, what you doing? You don't mind if I come in here? I want to ask you something. I'm sorry. Come on in, big dog. <laughs> you know, what's up? Man, uh, what's the trick? What you doing, Kevin? What are you doing? Uh, the, how are you staying so hard, you know, to win all these shows? He's like, you want to know what I'm doing? I'm like, yeah. I said, dude, I said, listen, man. I said, you even carrying your food around? You're so serious, you're measuring out your food, you're doing, a, you gotta, you gotta just relax, Ronnie. I said, will not you just have a seat, man, do a shot of his vodka with him. So he goes over to his coffee maker, pour a little coffee in the cup, then he goes to the refrigerator <laughs> and pulls out a, a bottle of vodka, and uh, he pours that into the cup, and he says, uh, drink that. <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I don't drink no alcohol, Kevin. You know that? I don't drink no alcohol, man. Man, bodybuilders can't do that. Dude, I don't drink no vodka. <laughs> I, don't, I don't drink alcohol. I said, look, big dog. I said, listen, take a shot of this vodka, man. You'll be all right. I said, you know, you just, just chill, man. Take it easy. So he took a shot. Man, you show? I said, yeah, I'm show. <laughs> so I'm like, OK. <laughs> so he drank it. And, uh, Man, this stuff don't taste right, man. I, I ain't used to this in my body. But if you say do it, I'm going to do it. I said, all right, go ahead and drink that. All right? So we drank it. We sat down and talked a little more. Talked about trading, working out. I gave him another shot. I gave him another shot. I gave him another shot, right? <laughs> so about a fifth shot, he's like, man, this stuff pretty good. You got it? Let me have another shot of that. Man, that, 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 that vodka, that made me feel real good. So he got up, and I said, man, I said, listen, eat some of this pizza, ate a little bit of pizza. And he left and went to his room. So I didn't see him until the next morning we woke up. And, you know, went, went to saw him backstage, you know, pumping up, pulled his clothes off. And I, I, I looked at him, dude, and my jaw just dropped. I was like, damn. I drank that coffee and that vodka and, and uh, went to the show the next day and beat Kevin. I think that by him having the alcohol, it dehydrated him just a little more, but it was able to also relax him to not think about any food, not think about anything. And I, I think that relaxed state of mind just let, his, let the water just leave his body. And when Ronnie hit that stage, man, it was, it was all over. It was like, where'd this dude come from? I remember going into the Olympia, they, they said, Dorian ain't competing this year. So the Olympia's wide open. Flex had been getting second. Kevin had been getting second. Sean Ray had been getting second. NASA had been getting second. I'm like, oh, well, I ain't got a, <laughs> I ain't got a prayer. <laughs> Leading up to the competition, you know, it was highly anticipated because Dorian wasn't there anymore and everyone was like trying to see where they were going to fit in. There was me, Nasserell, somebody, Kevin. Ronnie Coleman wasn't even on my top six list. The media at the time, which was only magazines, <laughs> was uh, pumping up Flex Wheeler, you know, Flex Wheeler, you know, Sultan of Symmetry, Flex Wheeler, you know. 93 Arnold Classic, you know, 94. And, I mean, you're expecting this. He managed to go from getting his pro card to being, you know, the top in Mr. Olympia all in the same year. You know, it was just, that was in 93. His first pro year, he swept through everything. Every pro show, he won. And as the Olympia came, he kind of really expected for 
that to one day, you know, end up on his mantle. Flex Wheeler, congratulations for winning the Arnold's Classic. And tell me now, uh, how much did it help you to come out of this kind of a momentum of winning the, the, the Ironman competition a week ago? I think it played a tremendous um, influence on me, especially that that was my first pre, uh, pro, pro debut, and I won that show, and I think it gave me a little momentum going into this show, which I think I needed quite a bit. Flex was always a, the heir apparent to the title. Flex Wheeler was definitely looking to be the heir apparent to the throne. It was the heir apparent, logically, who would be the guy to win. From that time, it was always de he was always destined to be the next guy. I would have bet millions he would never win the Olympia. The first five, six years of his career, he was a journeyman pro, had a good few shows, but you never really thought he was going to make the breakthrough. When I saw him backstage in New York City, I knew that it was pretty much game over for me. It was night and day. It was, there was Ronnie and then there was everybody else. We all took up our clothes and went out there to compete. That's when you knew that it was going to be a changing of the guard. And I remember going into the show and uh, being compared to Flex and Kevin and, you know, those guys that I had already won. And a couple of times they had put me in the middle. And I'm like, oh, I'm doing pretty good here. They put me in the middle, <laughs> compared me to the big dogs of the sport. I think in 1998, the world had never seen the total package that Ronnie Coleman presented. And when he presented that package, he knocked out a bunch of Hall of Fame bodybuilders in their prime. And although Flex Wheeler thought he was in the hunt, uh, I don't think he was beating Ronnie Coleman in any of the poses. My goal was just place the top five, you know? I was like, man, if I can just place the top five in Olympia, you know, it'll be a dream come true. And I remember they called, you know, like fifth and sixth, and I'm still standing there, and they called four of them. I'm like, oh, shucks, I'm doing pretty good. Third, and I'm still standing there. I'm like, whoa. And then I, I can remember me and Flex standing there, and they were down the first and second. I'm like, wow. <laughs> I was truly blown away. And then Wayne, when he called out second place, he waited for a long time. Flex Wheeler. That's when he collapsed, of course, the famous officer down uh, move that he did. But uh, I think that got to everybody. That made everybody in that theatre, Madison Square, got warm to this guy. Here was the guy, real emotion, at taking the sports top title when nobody thought I had a chance. It was, it was a rocky story, you know. Everybody was happy for him. To be at the top, the best in the whole world, you can't get no better feeling in the world than that.